we understood about the packet buffer protection right which works at the interface level in this video let's understand about the zone protection uh, which works in the zone level all right so this is the same topology that we're using uh, one is outside zone and the other one is a dmc zone where we have an attacker using a kali linux in the outside zone and he's trying some flooding from here and uh, let's let's using a zone detection sorry a zone protection let's uh, you know block the flooding traffic or any suspicious malicious traffic okay fine so first of all, in order to create a zone protection, what we'll need to do, we need to go to the network. Okay. So if you go to any any of your zone, okay, if you go to any of your zone, by default, there is no zone protection. Okay. So we need to first of all, create a zone protection and then to associate here. Uh, you can either create by clicking here and clicking new from here or else if you come down, right, if you come down under network profile, by default, it'll be looking like this, right? If you come down and click here in the network profiles, you'll be seeing something like zone protection. Okay, so this is the option uh, you need to click to create the profiles for the zone creation. Okay, uh, zone protection. Okay, so by default there is no uh, zone protection profiles. We need to create our own. So by clicking the add button here at the bottom, we can create it. So I name this as uh, my zone protection. Okay. Okay. And again, as we have seen in the, uh, you know, DOS protection uh, la uh, lab, we have an option to perform SIN, uh, SIN flight, means protect from SIN flight, TCP flight, UDP flight, ICMP flight and other uh, other flights. But the main thing uh, means in addition to the, uh, you know, the, the features that we have discussed or seen in the DOS protection is in zone protection, we have recurrence protection. So this is, uh, it, it, it helps to protect even the scanning traffic, okay? So this uh, recognizance protection uh, profile is much helpful, means it can detect even the scanning traffic. All right, let's go one by one. So first of all, let me enable, uh, you know, uh, TCP flight means uh, protection, SYN flight. And it can be, I'll just set everything a low value, low threshold value just to trigger that, right? and fine so let me enable utp as well five five twelve so mainly i'll initiate icmp as well five five mm, nine seven all right so this three is fine because we are anyway we're going to initiate icmp all right and also under uh, the scanning protection right let's enable this everything and you can block this we can also i mean we can do two type of thing one is uh, we can uh, initiate a flooding uh, we can do icmp flooding on the other hand we will initiate a scanning as well all right so it will get blocked so these are the other uh, parameter we can do it so basically if you want to it's it's a packet based attack protection okay so you have uh, multiple options here uh, based on ip drop tcp drop icmp ipv6 and icmpv6 all right fine that's fine so we have created our uh, zone protection profile now we have enabled you know protection for flooding attack the tcp sin flood attack udp attack icmp flooding attack and also in addition to that we have also added protection for the scannings the tcp scanning udp scanning and hot sweep right so now it's done then we need to go to our zone zone configuration so now we need to associate this profile to the zone which we want to protect it all right so what i'll do i'll just go to my dmc zone and under dmc zone i'll just add this so earlier if you remember uh, when we click here means it was none by default but when we click here it has only two options one is none the other one is to create a new profile but now once we created that it is showing here right so just click it click ok and also if you want to add it to the outside zone you can do it just for a lab right i'm just adding to outside zone as well that's it so now we have created the uh, zone protection profile and associated this profile to the zones and we'll commit the changes
and again uh, so before committing okay anyway we have initiated committing right so once it's committed again let's go to uh, you know this session where we have a list number right let's let's modify it to the default value so just to avoid uh, means just to avoid initiating this one okay we don't want now uh, uh, to see the policy buffer pack uh, protection right we want to see the zone protection okay so let, let let's have some default value of the uh, packet buffer protection so that it will not be triggered before the zone protection so i think it's taking some more time let's wait for a few seconds 98 percentage Ninety-nine. All right, so it's done. So as I said, uh, we don't want uh, this packet buffer protection to be, uh, you know, initiated before the zone protection. So I'll just make it to the default value as earlier. I think the alert was set as fifty, and uh, activate as eighty. Eighty. Hold on, time second is somewhere 10 seconds, I believe. And uh, block duration is five minutes. That's 3600. All right. I will commit it. Because by default, it is enabled. So what happens if we have a list value, then there is a chance that before zone protections get triggered, uh, this packet protection will, buffer protection will get triggered. Because it has a very list value configured, right? So let's click commit again. So once it's committed, we'll go back here and we'll in, uh, initiate and uh, you know flooding and also scanning towards this server. And um, this time it will get it will block this uh, you know flooding and scanning based on a zone protection not the ddos sorry uh, the, um you know i'm uh, uh, not not the dos protection or the packet buffer protection okay this time it will get blocked based on the zone protection profile we have created so it's 65 percentage done 75 let's wait for a few more seconds it's almost done now okay it's done so if you go to monitor so this is the place where we can see that okay so go to monitor under monitor under logs under logs threat okay last time if you see right uh, the very recent means even if we refresh one more time the very recent uh you know uh, the log the drop log which is uh logged here under threat is because of the packet buffer protection okay but when we initiate now now it will get uh, blocked because of the zone based protection all right i'll just go back to my linux machine the kali linux and we'll initiate um, the icmp flood and also if required i can just go back here and we'll do the scanning okay and a check um in map okay in map fine so the command to do the simple command is n map dash v dash a okay spelling mistake it's n map okay we have already executed it so that see n map dash v dash a and the destination ip address this is the command right i'll just initiating scanning as well so let me go back here and refresh it see icmp flooding is getting logged here okay so this time again we are getting icmp flood and if you just open this to see because of what it's getting blocked and it is telling icmp
can and log and see for more information it's basically a client to server connection right and outside zone so basically it's getting blocked right it's categorized of flood okay timing severity and everything we're seeing if we refresh here maybe we'll be seeing for tcp flooding as well see tcp flood also now came because we are running a scanning right but uh the zone protection uh, has an option to uh prevent or uh, monitor and detect and uh, block the scanning traffic as well i'm sorry okay if i click here see it has all this information related to this log okay tcp log tcp flood log and you can just go here and uh, so the log says that it's a drop it is a drop icmp icp flooding and tcp flooding or log drop can refresh one more time okay so this is how uh you know zone protection works if you just go back to traffic i just clear this uh, filter see from this destination to this destination when uh see insufficient data ssl Okay, TCP reset from server. See, so again, if I go back to thread, I should see few more entries regarding the flood that we initiated. See, this ICMP flood is initiated, came again, and TCP flood also came again. Okay, because as per our zone configuration, zone protection configuration, we have enabled flooding. We have enabled uh, you know uh, protection protection from flooding. I'm sorry, earlier I was telling about scanning, right? But uh, it is detected under flooding okay i'm sorry but again uh if you can disable that and if you can check right we can see this scanning as well all right so anyway this uh zone protection is working as expected so this is how zone protection works i'll just go back to my carry linux and stop it the other the icmp flooding so far we have initiated close to eighty thousand packets eight lakhs packet all right so fine 